Um, yes, uh, John Lebrecht unfortunately could not be with us, but he sends his uh, best regards and uh, greetings to you all. Uh, he's asked me to give a, a brief overview on the ongoing work of the geohazards for focus group, specifically the GNSS Enhancement to Tsunami Early Warning Systems uh, activity. And so, as you can see, we have had a, a rather long uh, but successful path towards, uh, towards where we are right now, uh, really uh, being started in 2015 with the IUGG General Assembly Resolution number four, calling for the de development of an Indo-Pacific effort to implement uh, G2's, GNSS uh, Enhanced Tsunami Early Warning System. Uh, the, there was a call for participation in 2016 uh, and a, a very successful and fruitful uh, workshop in 2017 uh, that ultimately uh, yielded a contribution to the United, Not United Nations uh, Disaster Risk Reduction Global Ass Assessment Report in 2019. Um, this is something that uh, we'll touch on a bit later, uh, but really has been serving as a, as a great uh, means of communication for the importance of this work. And in 2020, planning and preparations for uh, the G2's Principles Organizational Meeting, a kind of a follow-on workshop to the 2017 workshop, uh, was unfortunately delayed uh, due to the pandemic, but there are plans to uh, convene it sometime in the middle of 2022 uh, with hope. So the vision of uh, the G2's uh, effort uh, is that it comprises approximately 3,000 GNSS, QZSS, and NAVIC receivers in the Indian, Pacific, and Caribbean basins to provide tsunami early warning through the measurement of the dynamics of the ionized and neutral atmosphere, ocean, and land. Uh, the G2's network will ideally utilize machine learning and ar artificial intelligence to provide disaster risk reduction information by improving early warning at a sustainable cost. Uh, the G2's network uh, is planned to also provide scientific opportunities to identify and better understand ionospheric, atmospheric, ocean and land macroscopic dynamics. The G2's initiative through the uh, Group on Earth Observations Geodesy for Sendai community activity uh, is uh, something that has been um, making some strides recently. Uh, the G2's initiative is supported by the 17 institutions of 12 nations that comprise the GATEW working group of the GIGOS focus area on geohazards. And, the, Geo and the, the group on Earth Observations, Geodesy for Sendai Community Activity, uh, will be uh, the forum for the implementation of this in G2's initiative in the long run. Uh, we are fortunate to have uh, support in the Geodesy for Sendai activity uh, with uh, John Lebrecht, uh, John Rundell, as well as uh, our colleagues uh, Shunichi Kushimura, Attila Kamiothi, Mattia Crespi, and Michela Ravanelli. Uh, the IUGG has very generously pledged to grant uh, some money to support the planning of the next uh, G2's meeting and is uh, looking forward to working uh, collaboratively with the Geodesy for Sendai activity. Uh, it's worth noting that GIGOS participates in, uh, in the Group on Earth Observations uh, on behalf of the IAG, at, but IUGG also is a participating organization of GEO. And both GIGAS and the IUGG Commission of Geophysical Risk and Sustainability support this uh, initiative. Also, the Association of Pacific Rim Universities and uh, Tohoku University IRIDES pledge support for this initiative. So as I mentioned, uh, we're planning a 2022 meeting uh, that will hopefully be a, a convergence of a lot of the activities that have uh, been taking place over the last uh, almost 10 years, as well as some uh, interesting recent developments, which we'll get into uh, shortly. And so uh, what we will touch on in the next uh, presentation is that there is a new ITU focus group on artificial intelligence for natural disaster management. Uh, abbreviated FGAI for NDM, and uh, that this is uh, something that we'll uh, discuss in, in greater in a few moments. Uh, but we're, 
hoping that the group's work will improve the speed and quality of GNSS observations and improve the quality of early warning products contributing to the Sendai framework and as well find providing ionospheric, atmospheric, ocean, and geodetic science with a new tool to observe and understand geodynamics. And so that's all uh, that John had for his presentation. Uh, 